Hello, my fellow gears. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we just got out of prison. We had a weird story going on. And we're supposed to believe that... Do I have money? I have money. And we're supposed to believe that... Our great captain and betrayed the clan he was from. It was like an armor and weapon shop that I kind of want to go to. Alright, I know this place. This looks fancy. Looks like it's for rent. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? <laughs> office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A uh, family? Family, family, I... A Yakuza office, okay? A anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who doesn't. They're a huge, famous family. Really? Finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Oh, and I. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. Betcha she's probably passed on since old woman. <laughs> Jeremy, it sounded like the Arakawa family finally made it big. Can't wait to see them now. Problem is, where'd they go? Couldn't hurt the old, the old lady. I mean... If this is just like I'm thinking of, the lady's probably long gone or doesn't remember Ichiban here. Ichiban here. Oh, wow. Yep, old guy. Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now. Oh, I see. Hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. Give me the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez. And you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait. It's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying! Out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait. Were you in that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah. There was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. He's not believing. You the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. You just said you were in the Arakawa family. 
Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. You must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. Oh, come on. You Omi are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. And you Tojo roaches need to die already. Are you serious, dude? You have one jump. So, the battle is on. He's got a baseball yeah. bat. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that sucks. That was easy. Didn't even get hit. Nothing as usual. What a surprise. Did Arakawa-san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Uh-oh. I mean, I want to fight. I want to keep fighting. I haven't, like, we've done, like, five fights in five episodes. So I'm like, come on now. Where'd he go? Oh. Hit up the other families. Don't let him get out of Kamo Ruchu. Ha, ha. That was a close one. So, what the... F <laughs> the Champion District. There's a site for Soros. Huh? Huh? Aren't you... Each oh, no, is this a drunk old lady? Huh? It's been such a long time, Ichi. Oh man, finally a familiar face. Back off. Huh? You can get smoke. I want to. Wait, don't you smoke yourself? I kept drinking and smoking ages ago. What? Thank you. When you went to prison, I ended up getting pretty sick. It was either quit drinking, smoking, or I'd send me to an early grave. <laughs> so I went cold turkey on both of them. Wow, you really turned it around. So on I'm practically a health nut now. No alcohol, no tobacco, or d additives. And I'm eating better too. I'm trying to up my water tape too. You just heard your body's made of water? <laughs> Even knowing that, most people don't drink near enough water. If you don't get some quality water in your- Excuse me. Bruh. Maybe you can ease up on the water trivia and tell me about Kamarochu. What happened to Tojo Clan and Aokawa son when I was gone? Mm. I don't know the first thing about it. But your bar was pretty popular. Mm. The, more to a health food cafe now. I was a band. Oh. I'm too, I couldn't care less about people who don't treat their bodies like temp. <sighs> oh, great. At least it's pretty common. Well, if you're so curious, why not track down Ushiro? Remember? Your senpai from middle school? Hmm? Oh yeah! That guy used to sell black market... He's a magazine writer these days. And he fancies himself the go-to guy for covers on the Yakuza. <laughs> That's ironic. Oh, my dad sees all that creative journalist. He said we had researching a story and then I'll see him slacking off my children's part. I don't like that. Thanks. Aha, Devon, oh my god. <sighs> I'll put that on the list. If you like it, it is gonna... See ya. Anyway, let's see. Not this. I mean, I don't blame him. You have a woman who's just talking your head off for all the reasons. She has changed. She got old. <sighs> well, she's doing well, though. Well, maybe we can find him at the Patrol Park. Maybe we'll check it out. That's really weird to me that we're gonna go visit a guy we beat up. Oh, wow, those people over there that want to fight. I kind of want to fight them, but I know better. Alright, hold on one second. Alright, I was 
get the majority of the fight. Give this regular punk link. Nothing really fancy. Alright. Let's keep moving our way there. I hope we find, like, like what the heck is going on in the world today. It's really weird to be punks when the street are still trying to just attack me. And now that I'm like 18 years older, I didn't lose a step too. It's a weird concept to me. I'm what, almost 40? Oh god. Is that what. Uh oh. Nah. Quit hanging around here. You made a promise, now hand it over. Hmm. Chill out, would you? It's just a pic of you walking. You can you like a. Uh, that will look cool or not. The only way to like, the whole press that, <gasps> so back off. Or we'll be the ones who instantly snap it. Well, uh, aren't these any exceptions? You're gonna earn a million yen for a shot if you really want them. Uh, That's just crazy. Oh. oh, is it now? Think about your camera. What? Wait. So, what about that thing? You think I care? Wrecked. What? Hey. I'm the camera. Uh -huh. Who are you? You gotta talk, talk to this guy. Don't worry. I'll make the shots get deleted. Now make it square, hmm? right? Aren't you Ichiban? You got out? <laughs> Been a while, Yushio. Hey, isn't he the Tojo clan guy? What? Red suits, scraggly hair. It's gotta be him. He's one of the all come people. Look up. We, if we kill him, we'll drag him back, and we'll be heroes. <laughs> Get small town. Sup? Don't go anywhere. I can head to the base real quick. I mean, I guess we're re rebuilding this Hojo clan. What the? Oh, me alliance. Okay, that sounds about right. Cool. Hey! Check this out. Come on now. Oh. Say what? Ow. Well, this is gonna be pretty easy. Well, easy game, easy life. Not much, really, of anything. Any more experience to get a level, unfortunately. Damn, you're strong. We're gonna remember your face, dick. I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist? Oh yeah, these picks are go for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up! You deserve that. That guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. Uh, if I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Uh. Yeah, you better run, Kamelop. Kamelop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh. We're gonna be here all day. Yep, that's all I'm here for. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me, when did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? 
Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. But... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Yep, I'm that guy again. Huh? I promise, Kasuga, there's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. But th then where would I go? I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. I mean, the man has lost literally everything in his life, so what's... one more thing, you know? I, I really don't blame him. Oh, fight time. You're up, man. Alright, these guys are so not even worth fighting. But we're gonna do it anyway, because we need experience in our lives. Can I just go straight through here? Elevator. Huh. I'm gonna get lost in here, so we're just gonna get out of here. Because I have no freaking clue about anything in this map. I should probably work on some of that stuff eventually, too, because it looks like there's a lot of side stuff. I mean, it's the same people who wrote Persona, I feel like, so... There's gonna be a lot of it. Um... Looks like we're about to get another fight. No, I'm not. Oh, there's a point, I think. No? Well, no, the arrow would be pinging right now if it was. There. What the freak is this place? It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? 
the new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. <sighs> so, do you believe me now? Yes. <laughs> and we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Uh. <sighs> I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. And everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san. Is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? Yeah, I am. But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now? Hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Right here. I mean, it makes a bit of sense. No one would expect a uh, high class Yakuza den to go to a burnout place. What? What? Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it. This is Harkawa-san trying to contact me. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's uh. important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you want to let me bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? 
That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? Smartphone! You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. You can also for the pause menu. You can check your mail, take pictures, and call a taxi. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will you? I want to beat everything up. That's what I want to do. I want to beat people up. So if what a reunion means I'm going to meet him and there's going to be a massive fight. Finally night. Better go meet Adachi. I just hit me as if Adachi. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm just gonna try to ignore fights while I can. A lot of food places here. Don't mind me, guys. I'm right back. Actually, next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, we'll do this fight. I'll see you then.